Hey, it's Maria here from GoalieTrainingPro.com. I'm the girl from Canada who designs off-ice training programs for hockey goalies. So basically, so you can win more games uh, with fewer injuries and have more fun and teams want to snipe you and poach you and, you know, get you playing for their team. This is the second part of a three-part series talking about ankle. Um, and in this one, we're talking about balance. So last one, we looked at ranges of motion. This time, we're talking about balance. I don't know how, where this started, but a lot of people think that goalies need to work on their balance and so they should stand on a stability ball while they're juggling or squatting or whatever. But what's interesting is half those guys can't even balance on one foot. <laughs> so let's just start with actually balancing uh, and improve that. So the first thing will just be balancing on one foot with your knee slightly bent, eyes open without using your hands. So hands on your hips or hands across your chest, but without using your hands at all to stabilize. When you can do that for 30 to 60 seconds without, you know, having to wiggle around and work to correct, it should just be effortless like it is here. Then you move on to closing your eyes. To bridge it, you can just close one eye to start with, but then you want to close both eyes. And you can already see there's a little bit more work going on in my lower leg, still fairly stable and balanced. So you should be able to do it just like that for again, at least 30, preferably 60 seconds without having to touch down or open your eyes. So if you do it for 60 seconds and you're like, oh, I only had to touch down three times, then you're not doing it. <laughs> you need to keep practicing at that level. Then the next one, and it's a little more specific to your position or your job on the ice, is to include movement of your head. Because, yeah, you might be, you know, um, covering at your post and then you need to be looking around with your head and, and staying nice and perfectly balanced. So we're going to balance on one foot. We're going to bring our thumbs out in front of us. We're going to stare right at the nail bed on our thumb so I'm not looking past it. And I'm going to move out to the side while turning my head. And actually, I'm purposely going slow because it makes it a little harder to start with. You know, if I just kind of go quick, I'm, I'm not really looking at my thumb, then it's going to be a little bit cheating. So start slow, get the idea of looking right at the nail bed of your thumb, and then you can go a little quicker and it'll increase your challenge that way. So what I mean when I is just don't just move your arm, you know, and not really look at it. You've got to trace it with your head. So those are the three balance exercises that you should be able to do perfectly. You should be able to do five out and back with each hand on each leg, balance for at least 30 seconds with both eyes closed as your, as your sort of starting point of balance. If your balance is just terrible when you start, don't feel bad. I've trained an NHL goalie who couldn't balance on one foot, like with both eyes open, period. And we just worked on it for a couple weeks. It comes really, really quickly. So just if you have trouble with it, practice it for a couple minutes every day and probably within a week, it's going to be 10 times better.